In this lesson, we're going to look at graphing linear inequalities. And our focus here is just focusing on this, is to derive the steps to graph linear inequalities. If you need some background information, inequalities and what they are, there is a lesson that covers this as well. So in graphing linear inequalities, we're going to start with we're going to replace the inequality with the equal to sign just so we can get the x-intercept, y-intercept, and then draw the graph. So let's start off with the x-intercept. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to assume y equal to x plus 3. So our x-intercept, y equal to 0. So 0 is x plus 3. Subtract 3 here, subtract 3 here. So x equal to negative 3. Then our y-intercept, y equal to 0 plus 3, which is 3. So now we're going to plot the point. We're going to locate the points on the graph. So we locate the points on the graph. So x equal to negative 3, negative 3, y equal to positive 3. Now, the way the graph is going to look is going to is going to be determined by the inequality sign that we have. Here we have a greater than. So the rule is that if you have a greater than or less than, your line is actually going to be a broke is going to be broken lines. But if you have a greater than or equal to, then your line is going to be a solid line. So because we have just a greater than here, we have just a greater than sign here we're going to have broken lines join these points together. So now we have the broken lines join those points together. And the final step is, if we have a greater than sign, we're going to shade above the line. So what it means is that every point in this shaded region satisfies the inequality in question just for this for this question or for this inequality we're going to try a test point so let's look at a test point here is going to be negative 3 and 2 okay so let's try negative x equal to negative 3 y equal to 2 so y is 2 must be greater than negative 3 plus 3 which is 2 greater than 0. You can see that this is a true statement. So that means that every point in this shaded region will satisfy this inequality. Let's look at another one here. First thing we're going to do is y equal to 2x minus 5. So let's look at our x-intercept, y-intercept. x-intercept, 2x minus 5 equal to 0. So 2x equal to 5 and x is 5 over 2. And then for our y-intercept, y equal to 2 times 0 minus 5, which is equal to negative 5. So now we're going to plot this point on the graph. y equal to negative 5. So Let's do this right here. And then x is 5 over 2. So this is 1, 2. Let's call this 3. So 5 over 2 is somewhere around here. Now, because this is going because this is a less than or equal to sign, we're going to use solid lines because there's an equal to portion of it. We're going to use solid lines to join these points together. So we're going to use solid lines to join these two points together. So now we've used a solid line to join the points together. Now the next thing we're going to look at is what part of what region of points or what set of points will satisfy this inequality. Now we see that this is less than or equal to. So anything below this line is going to be satisfied by the inequality. 
every point below this line and like I did earlier you can try test points to figure out if this actually does work but this is generally what will happen. Next example, we have the graph of y equals y is less than x plus 1. So let's do this y equal to x plus 1 right here. So x intercept. So 0 equal to x plus 1. So we subtract 1, subtract 1, minus 1 is x. Let's look at the y intercept. y intercept. We have y equal to 0 plus 1. So y equal to 1. So let's find those points on the graph. So we have x equal y equal to 1 and then x equal to negative 1. Now we're going to use broken lines to join these points together because there is no equal to in the inequality. It is a less than. So this is what the inequality looks like and now we have to figure out what portion we need to shade. It's a less than so we're going to shade the portion below. So let's for the sake of this let's show a test point. Look at this right here is the origin. That's the point zero, zero. I always like that as a test point. So let's look at zero, zero. So y is zero should be less than zero plus one. So zero should be less than one, which is a true statement. So that means every, every region that this point belongs to satisfies the inequality. Finally, we're going to look at these equation, this inequality here. I'm going to just write this here. It's just a good practice when you're dealing with inequalities. So y equal to negative 2x minus 3. So x intercept, we're going to have 0 equal to 2, negative 2x minus 3 add 3 over here so negative 2x equal to 3 and then we divide by negative 2 divide by negative 2 so x equal to negative 3 over 2 and then our y intercept y equal to negative 2 times 0 minus 3 so y equal to negative 3 so now let's find the point on the graph. So negative 3 over 2 is going to be right about here. And negative 3 is going to be right about here. So now we're going to use a solid line to join both points together. So the last step of this is to figure out what side of the line, what region satisfies the inequality. The rule is if it's greater than or greater than or equal to every region above the line will satisfy the inequality so this region right here and every region below will not satisfy so here we have the origin again so let's try the point zero zero so it's saying here zero should be greater than zero minus three 0 greater than negative 3 that is a true mathematical statement so you can see that every point in this region will definitely satisfy the inequality